All right, welcome back. Uh, we have seen bars and restaurants opening back up once again, but if you work in an office, usually, you may still be logging in remotely every day from home. And uh, the numbers back that up. According to a survey that was done by Castle Systems, only about 27% of workers in the 10 largest U.S. markets have gone back to the office. So we're talking about that today. Uh, this is a workplace culture expert, Joel Patterson. Joel, thanks for being with us today. Yeah, happy to be here, Jason. All right, so in this survey, and, and this isn't surprising because it seems like we have seen this uh, from early on uh, in the pandemic when things started to reopen once again, DFW is leading the way with the number of people who are returning to the office again. DFW has about more than 40% of workers back in the office, though that number is down slightly from a couple of weeks ago. Uh, why is the number so high here in this area in particular? And again, it, that's been kind of a stubborn trend for a while. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not just Dallas. It's interesting. Uh, coming in second place was Houston at 37%, and Austin is in third place at 35%. And so the top three happen to be Texas cities. And so that gets you thinking, why? Um, and there's no clear answer, but kind of did a little informal poll around the office earlier. And, and there's a few things that, that people came up with. One, we're just kind of spread out. We're not as dense as some locations. The bottom two were uh, San Francisco and New York at 17 and 14 percent. And so obviously they're a lot more dense. They use public transit. Um, you know, the industries that are represented in Texas, oil and gas, a lot of times people are still using desktops. At their offices, a little more difficult to work from home. Healthcare, manufacturing, um, and then I mean, you can't overlook the fact that it might just be the general Texas attitude of "I do what I want." Hmm. Uh, I think that probably plays at least a little bit of a role in in us going back to work. Yeah, and if you're one of those uh, still heading into the office every day, and I have been one of those, uh, you have definitely noticed it in the amount of traffic that you're dealing with back and forth to downtown as well. I could have uh, said even before this study that a lot of people were back in the office again. Uh, okay, so we've seen a steady rise in COVID cases, though, in North Texas. Do you think that we might see the numbers of people going into the office backing down again, or especially if we really start to get into another big surge here? Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt. Like you mentioned a minute ago, even in Dallas, it's down a percent or two. So it's having an impact. As the numbers continue to get publicized, it's going to continue to have an impact. So as business leaders, you really got to make sure that you've got a plan for health and safety. Um, you know, what's the availability? That, everybody wants to know what the availability of the vaccine is going to be. So understanding how you're going to respond to that. Make sure your office is clean. Um, and then what is the testing strategy if somebody does uh, have a positive test and, and you're exposed to it? Um, you know, just making sure that you're taking care of your people will have an impact. But I don't think there's any doubt we've got a, a long road ahead of us still. A lot of people that I'm talking to are really looking at next summer as being the time when we can we can really get back and even then it's probably only 50 to 60 percent yeah and we wonder you know long term now that we've proven that you know so many people can be so productive at home if that's a better option for a lot of people or for some companies maybe we see a more long-term trend uh sticking around with a lot of these companies uh workplace culture expert joel patterson uh thanks for being with us today really appreciate the insight happy to be here all right we're gonna take a quick break right here we'll be right back stay with us